watch a Michael video. Graham, we're going to TwitchCon, baby. From Taylor Swift. Of course, Michael. I know Cyrus is literally that. Is that? Oh, is this supposed to be like plastic? That's what people do when they're camping. They drink out of the fucking sack of water. So I'm going to TwitchCon to review my experience. It's taking place down in San Diego. The plan was to just drive down this way, but uh-oh, there's a car crash. Looks like I have to go all the way around and then camp out in this sick desert so I can get to San Diego that way. To, you know, to review TwitchCon. Michael, why really? do you own a salvage title rundown piece of shit? Pickup truck from the city of Los Angeles. Um, because it's swag, first of all. Five times cheaper than a normal truck. And the most important, I make too much trash at my house i put it in this truck and then put on a high-vis vest and drive around the place where i live until i find places with dumpsters and dump the trash and people just assume that i, I work for the county of Boston. <laughs> no one's gonna bother you you have a high-vis jacket and the white truck with the light on top so fuck where are we going to twitch top i actually remember running into lily and michael at a grocery store and he they drove this truck and i saw it and first i was just like why do you have this because i was just it, I, I was just uh, more one, shocked uh, we're going to twitchcon piss number one well this is a fun quirky story conflict i came back from how many times and I the truck was doing some pissing of its own i think it's leaking coolant not really a car person but i want to say that the coolant thing should have coolant inside of it water in there insane. just gave me two and mechanic store water is cold sometimes so that's pretty much coolant yes sir come on you can make it you can make it you can make it huh hmm huh Hmm. Luckily, it didn't matter because the engine was so hot that in the five minutes it took me to drive to the store, it already burned away all the water. So, you know, small miracles. Back to driving to the desert. And it was actually a really nice drive. It was blue skies, good day. Made the perfect place for the truck to overheat on the side of the road. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm sure that's bad. I'm sure that's a bad thing. Okay. No, no. Oh, listen to this. Mmm, good, mm. so good. This Sounds coolant like pipe was leaking everywhere. Something. How do we fix that? I don't know. Cool, yeah, so I just took it off. Ah. So I just took it off and put it back on and hope that it worked. I might need a funnel. No, that's that's pretty good. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna drive it for a while and then we'll open it back up and see. Yeah, I go. It's Man of Steel, thank you so much for the prime. No piss, we got Yo! Oh my god, it's full! I'm so, I'm so happy. Let's go to the desert. But now you're probably wondering, why are you really going to the desert? And honestly, I had to get to TwitchCon. I don't need an ulterior motive to do any of this. Anyways, my ulterior motive is because of Nystat. No, not that Nystat. His brother Van Nystat. He has a YouTube yeah, channel and his conquest. videos are pretty fucking weird, but they're also really good. And he has this one video called, Should I Get a Motorcycle? And I thought, hey, I should get a motorcycle. And now I have a motorcycle. And I thought it would be really fun to ride around this desert. And that's it. It's just for fun. Not everything has to be a fucking life lesson anyway we're here yes this is what i came all this way for god yes bathroom i need a map bathroom. i meant like a one i could hold <coughs> that's pretty easy right now Bring i'm that. here and i am trying to get to here fuck god okay i'll just turn right onto the road really? that it wants me to for go free. onto and it's a pretty epic truck, but I I can I I I sand. I or can they? I ah, no, I would definitely get stuck. Okay, I can't park here, so I'm gonna go up this road and find a place to park. This is the closest thing that set it out a road, and this doesn't look like a road. It really doesn't look like a What the fuck is that? What is that? It's just rocks. That's not road. And so I spent the next hour looking around the desert for a campsite. It kind of feels like I'm playing Borderlands, but nothing's funny. Hey dude, listen up. Don't die in the desert. I think this is good. It's a campground. Uh, I don't see a single other person. At this point, I just wanted to ride around anywhere because half the day was gone. So I took the bike down using these wooden steps that I made because I have minion legs. And then I was ready to go. Come on, let's fucking go! <laughs> ah, I'm fucking stupid. Ah. Now I know. I look professional, but this is actually my first time going into the desert, believe it or not. So it's a learning experience for us all. More more just me. Mostly me, because I was there. And here's something I learned. Ah. Sand is really hard. Ah. 
I guess I, I also never thought about that. It. I never thought about how hard it is to ride three minutes since a I motorcycle got on in the, the desert. And I, I don't really know where I am. But eventually I pressed on. Didn't figure out where I was, just got tired of looking in the map. I knew it was the right direction after a while because the terrain started We're looking in like sand. this. Oh my god, it's all fucking rocks! Oh my god, it's all fucking sand! But with no other choice, I just kept going and doing desert things like climbing rocks and screaming. Yeah! You know, mm. desert things. Speaking of desert things. Yes, of things, course, because what else would you do in the desert? Okay, I'm a sand. Oh, I was gonna say I'm a sand whisperer. Oh, what the fuck? Now, it might look like I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's because I don't. I fucking suck at this. The sand is way harder to ride in than I thought it would be, but hey, it's fun, I, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah, boy! That's what yeah. I get. That's what I get. Fuck the bikes on my leg. Oh god, I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> I think I can get out of this though. I'm gonna turn around. Hey. Oh. I was feeling pretty silly after that crash, so I stopped here to eat and take in the view. Hey. That's very nice. All right, fuck this. Yeah. And then immediately turn around. I think is it easier to ride in the desert with thicker wheels on the bike? than thinner wheels because you have more round because i'm an matter? hour and a half away from my campsite and the sun was getting pretty low and then for my next trick i got the bike stuck it's actually so stuck that it stands up on its own so back okay this is sand yeah it's sand you know it's gonna be 100 years from yeah. now huh it's gonna be sand that's what i mean because for snow there's definitely a difference you want us like the the wider the tire the bigger the tires the wider the tires and the tread um and level of tread and all that kind of stuff too all matters a lot for snow i wonder if it's the same for sand it looks like it would be easier if you had bigger wheels i mean obviously in general to get through anything um but is the size of the wheel the only thing that matters or does traction slash tread also matter while I was trying to get it out, I noticed this on my phone. It's a emergency dust storm alert for the area. You know, pull over, visibility zero, don't die and all that. That's snow, you want thin Instead tires to cut over, through the I'm snow? Um... Do you? Is it different on a than driving through the snow? Because driving through the snow, you want thicker tires for sure. Because you want more grip or like... So we don't slip slash have more control but you're also a bit i mean you are a bit heavier it depends on, i guess what you're doing are you trying to like speed through the snow or are you trying to just go through it not on a road so i'm pretty sure it doesn't apply it to bigger. me anyways i got the bike unstuck and i was on my way Whoa, baby yeah you know it wasn't the longest For adventure bikes? ever but i had a lot of fun you like I motorcycles cool you mean you got flop on top i guess so go to twitchcon why why always when i celebrate Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! This is a dust storm. Oh my fucking god! Shit! Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck this! Oh fuck this! Who could have seen this coming? No one. No one could have seen this coming. But there's another problem. This area is called a wash. It's where water flows out of the hills when it rains. The water cuts these paths in the ground and they go all over the place. It doesn't look that confusing from up here. This is a Google Earth picture that I cropped to hide the watermark. But when you're on the ground and it's dark and there's fucking sand in the air, it's way harder to see where you're going. So at some point, I went the wrong way. I don't know where, but I went the wrong way. And the trail started looking less and less and less like a trail. Go back, go back. And to make matters worse, I discovered that sand isn't really sand, but tasty little rocks that you can breathe and eat. Mmm, yummy wummy in my little tummy, they taste so good. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but it, it was getting pretty hard to breathe. I'm gonna put a fucking dust mask on, and by dust mask, I mean a shirt. So I had to stop and wrap a t-shirt around my face so I wouldn't breathe any more yummy rocks. Okay, oh, oh, God. God. It's this way, I think. And yeah, I think I found it. That looks like the trail. But not for long, that doesn't look anything like the fucking trail. <laughs> oh, there it is. But I feel like this scary music's gonna come back. I couldn't find the fucking trail, okay? This one I was on just ended. I didn't even turn around this time. Just kept going towards where I thought the road was. Which is definitely not what you're supposed to do in this situation. I'm not sure what you are supposed to do, but it's definitely not this. And I had no idea where I was. I was just riding around hoping to find something. 
which makes this next part really boring. So I'm gonna put some Minecraft parkour video on the screen to keep your attention. Uh -huh. Look at that, a subway surfers. Ooh, and I'll go to Reddit and read the top post of today. Am I the asshole for kicking my dog in the head? And then I'll post it on TikTok, and then I'll post that on YouTube Shorts, and then I'll post that Shorts talk yeah, on my Instagram. Are. Oh, wow, is that the road? And I felt pretty relieved. <laughs> Keep filming back to the future. <laughs> what happened is I saw these power lines way off in the distance, and those are usually near civilization. So I just went towards them until I found the road. And then I was free. It's more. Really? Really? <sighs> I think for dinner tonight, I will make scrambled eggs and spam. Look at how good this looks. It's like fried rice. You know what? He did his best. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good morning. I had a nightmare that someone was walking around my tent at night, so I'm probably gonna have to deduct points from TwitchCon for that. But other than that, it was pretty good. And uh, let's get all get packed up and we'll head to TwitchCon. That's really how he got to TwitchCon. Not much happened on the 100 mile drive from the desert to San Diego. I had a lot of time to think about how fun it had been so far and how I wished I could have stayed a little bit longer. But as I rolled into town, I was overcome with optimism. You see, I'd lost track of why I came down to San Diego in the first yeah, place. Yeah, I remember and that. So I was excited to finally really, get huh? started on my review of TwitchCon. Four out of 10. It's all right. That is crazy.